Good morning. I think this will be part two of my stay in Lisbon. Um, I, sorry, I hadn't a chance to show you clothes before. I'm wearing my favorite check trousers. I'll show you the outfit another day because they will be on repeat. Um, but I was a little hungover after a bit too much wine last night. Slept like a log though. I'm going to give you some top tips within this vlog when I move, oh that's better, when I move um, rooms. Uh, but meanwhile, yes, uh, if you've never been to Lisbon before, uh, just to warn you, steep hills everywhere, look. That's just walking around the block. I'm fine because I'm fit and it's good. But if you've got bad knees, be warned because they're very, many, very, very steep ones. I haven't been up to one of the steepest. I'm going by tram, probably tomorrow morning. That will be an early start to miss the crowds. Okay, that's it for now. We're off to breakfast. This is the view at breakfast. God, it's hot. I'm gonna have to get into shorts. That's where we have free bread and cheese and a choice of three red wines at tea time. Met some lovely people last night. Right, you remember Donaldine? My friend from school, along with Dahlia. I'm trying to find an interesting background. Well, I'm in um, near, plenty a 15 minute walk from my hotel. Donaldine's daughter lives here. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing her because she lives here. She can give me local knowledge, like which trams aren't working because of roadworks. Lots of roadworks going on. Um, so that's it. I'll introduce her when she arrives. Right, I'm just filming this beautiful square and here is Ziska. Oh, you look just like your mum oh then. When she yeah. shook her head, oh my God, that was like Donaldine. Very much my mother. you pronounce these, Ziska? Pastel de Nata. Pastel de Nata. This is my first one, including all those trips to Faro, and this is one of the best, according to Ziska. They're different, aren't they, in every restaurant? Yum, yum. Is this market called? Timer. Timer. Time out. Oh, it's time out, like yeah. London. Yeah, that's what I it's the London time out. We've got it in every city, pretty much. You're kidding me. Bought food from different, these are all different eateries. And we've got one in London. God, I haven't got one in Brighton. Very upset. I'm coming back for the cord. What's it called? Does it have a special name? Espetada Madres. Espetada Madres. Espetada Madres. Obrigado. Well, I'm in a new room. You're going to see three rooms all together. Um, the one from last week's vlog. Now I've moved into, you wait till you see this, the very top of the house. Do you remember the flat that I wanted to buy that was up six flights of stairs that felt like eight? Mm, same thing, I just walked up with the staff and we were both, no, he wasn't huffing and puffing. I certainly was, but look at you, wait till you see the views. Um, I had a lovely time with Ziska, my friend's daughter. Um, and here we go, this is one view. Okay, how is this for a view? This is amazing. God, I would love an apartment like this. Oh, there is a lift, by the way. I will be using the lift, except when I need to burn off lots of calories. Isn't this just divine? So I'm going to have a couple of... Oh, no, that's mine, that balcony there. Come with me. Oh, it's really warm out still. 
Look, more stairs. Here's the shower. Here's the loo. Right, I won't struggle with the doors. Look, I could have a bath outside looking at the view. It's going to rain tomorrow. Um, we'll see. I will have a bath before I leave. And then I'm going to have to move rooms again because they need this for the weekend. So I'm having another one for Monday. Uh, okay, that's it for now. Let's go exploring. No, let's unpack first. I think I'm officially in Al Farm now, one of the big hills. Ooh, I made it without having to walk that final steep, steep, steep stairs. Everything was uphill and upstairs. And even though I've only done 14,000 steps, I am knackered. Look at that though, perfect timing. Look at that view. So this is the Grassa church and there's the castle over there. Let's do a close up. Rome, there are seven hills in Lisbon. This one, to see the Grassa, was um, actually quite easy, if you don't mind steps. There were a lot of steps, but the end bit, as you saw, or are seeing now, was the vinicula, which made the end bit so much easier. I was so tired by the time I got here, because it's hot, it's a hot day. That day, it's nearly evening. Time for a glass of bubbly. One last look at the beautiful church. And um, down the hill we go again. Or shall I have one here? That's a bit crowded. This is the trouble when you do travel on your own. If you're like Billy No Mates in the evening. Unless you meet some nice people from your own country or like the Kiwis I've met. That's always lovely to meet people. Anyway, I will be meeting friends later on. They just all hate being filmed. Morning, lovelies. Um, okay, bad weather day, but it's still very warm. Just need my umbrella. Um, going on a big walk, love my new room. It's so comfy can't have a bath outside yet uh, so I'm going to have I'm having a huge walk now to exploring another part of town and um, I'm going to have a spa afternoon so I probably won't do much filming I'm going to have a massage they took three days to tell me there was a spa unbelievable anyway you can see how everyone's dressed <laughs> still beautiful though Look how beautiful it is, even in the rain. Just glorious. Oh, yeah. This is Joseph, everyone. Hello, hello. We're in a tuk tuk. We're going on a tuk tuk tour. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's explore the seven hills. <laughs> seven hills, and then what's the other place? Belong. Belang, yes. Belang. That's about Fama. that's enough for an hour, isn't it? <laughs> and then we, we can go to finish Belang. with the pastel donata. We can finish the with best. the pastel donata. But uh, to go to Belai and come back, it's uh, about an uh, hour and a half. Oh uh, no, too Belang. long, too long. Yeah, it's like a bit further away from the city. I can get a tram there, can't I, yes. tomorrow? Yes, yes, you can. Okay, this is important. Joseph's giving me a lesson in slavery. 
and it wasn't the English, it was the Portuguese who started yeah, it all. So tell me again. One of the first ones, I believe, to initiate it. And also one of the first ones to abolish it. Excellent. Um, yeah, we... <laughs> And, uh, and yeah, we have the first slave market in the world in Lagos, in, uh, in the, the south. south well, I, I won't be visiting there then. <laughs> yeah. And we're off again. I can't film much, folks, because it's very jiggity. Oh, so <laughs> jiggity, jiggity. Now we initiate one of the seven hills of Lisbon. Oh, which hill are we? Now we initiate the old town of the city. We do a tuk-tuk tour. But we're going to walk a bit as well. It took him to find. Oh yes, to find to things. No, to find things. To find things, exactly. Yes, Saint Anthony. Yes, yeah. yes. This is the saint who helps you find things. Exactly. I'm losing things all the time. Should I try him? Yeah, you should. You should. <laughs> You'll stick to your phone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And it's when the Portuguese conquered the city, the Moorish. Oh, so was it a Moorish city before? It used to be a Moorish city back in the day. Oh, we're getting out. Excellent. If you want, yeah. <laughs> Don't be shy. How old is, is the Alfama, the old part Alfama, where we are? It's over 1,500 years old. Ooh. Some streets. So this survived the earthquake. Oh, and yes, the earthquake. It was earthquake. built by the Moorish when they were here from year 715 wow. until 1147. They and, were here. And look at the tiles. So these, do you think, are very old? Yes, um, some some of them are are all influ Moorish influence. Yeah, and this is a very famous city for tiles, isn't it? It is such a big um, city of, of and Portugal. And still handmade. Still handmade. Some are painted over, already done, but um, oh wow! Beautiful view. <laughs> My picture, come on. Oh, it's all right, darling. It's all right. I won't hurt you. Oh. Oh, he went all oh. scared then. Oh. Look at this little face. We're oh, friends. Look at you. Don't be scared. <laughs> look at the tail. That's better. That's better. <laughs> he looks as if he's been beaten. He's here from the laundry he's store. A bit, he's a bit nervous. Yes. There it is. So that's not the oldest one, these ones. No, the oldest is the... Um, Wait, thank you. We sneaked in the Cathedral of Lisbon and the music started. From 1147. Very, very old. The Notre Dame in Paris. Wow. When the Portuguese conquered the city, they built on top of the mosque, it is beneath us. A mosque? Yes. How terrible. The first church of the city to convert the population. I won't ask you how they converted them. <laughs> <laughs> this is very, very, very old Christ time and only discovered in the 60s. And look at that view, folks. It doesn't look like a river, does it? He's left me, Joseph, to go and park the tuk-tuk. He's brought me up to another fabulous viewpoint. This is great. This is so worth doing because you can do what you like, avoid the two touristy things, and just enjoy traveling quicker than your little legs will take you, especially if your knees are hurting like mine are from that mammoth walk look at that right i'll let you see what i can see okay joseph and Hello. i are having a little break where are we we are in miradouro portas do sol no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> but isn't it beautiful? Look at the surroundings. Wow. Look at this so authentic part of the Don't city. show them the cruise ships. That ruins everything. The longest bridge of Europe over there, Vasco da Gama. <laughs> and, uh, Did you show them the cruise ships as well? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is the National Pantheon. The National Pantheon. Everyone that's important for Portugal gets buried. Uh, is buried here. Best artists, um, military leader against the revolution. Are they still buried there now? Yes, yes. Even today? In Portugal, we are so obsessed about football. Death. Oh, I thought you were going to say uh, death. <laughs> that we have Eusebio buried here. Who? Eusebio, really? the Black Panther. Really? Yes. I love football. Yes. I always support Portugal. Yeah, very Unless good. you're playing England. <laughs> yeah, it took 250 years to be built. It is beautiful. Yes. I do like this. is my favorite so far. Trust me to love a place that's full of death. Ready? Yes, ready. This is Joseph's second best, well, he says, and he should know, uh -huh. second best place for pastella. Uh, what do you call Nata. it? Nata. Pastella Donata. Perfect. <laughs> Good. And it's right opposite my hotel. I mean, for heaven's sake. <laughs> I'm now addicted. Show them how. Yes. Second oh. best place in Lisbon. Hand by hand, they are making it here. Then it goes to the oven. Yeah. Mantegari is super good. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's mm. so good. <laughs> and so nice, good. nice coffee. Nice coffee. Oh, yes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Look, I've decided to have a bath while it's lovely and sunny and warm. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. And uh, I need to shave my legs. So look at that. And I don't think there's anyone overlooking me. No one, unless they've got binoculars. Hello, I had a lovely bath my little roof terrace it was boiling in the sun caught it slightly it's now quarter to four decided to get some exercise that i badly need after all those pastel donata um god they're delicious and um i feel like it's been christmas overeating over drinking but lots of walking um, anyway, I'm now in um, uh, Campo de Laga. I'm looking for a place that was on the Michael Portillo documentary about the weekend he spent in Lisbon, but um, the guy didn't know it. The, um, oh, that looks pretty. The um, hotel didn't know it. Nobody knows it, it's not on Google. But somewhere around here, there should be an Art Nouveau kiosk and I'm determined to eat in a kiosk because they're tiny, tiny, tiny but they turn out really, really good food. However, I cannot see a kiosk. Hmm, okay, this is going to be fun. Asking people with my appalling non-existent Portuguese. It's got a bit chilly, did I say that? I have a jacket in my backpack, thank God. Found it! Thanks to a lovely local lady who knew exactly where it is. Yep, that looks Art Nouveau to me. But do they do food? Well, they might, oh, they put all their chairs away. Ah, oh, no! I'm too late. Pretty though, isn't it? It's a very, very pretty square. Look at the queues to get on an old tram. There were no queues this morning, so I will get up early tomorrow, skip breakfast, rush straight to the 28th is the famous tram that goes all over. I'm not good with queues. This could be Art Nouveau. It's certainly much, much bigger. Oh, and everyone's sitting in deck chairs. How lovely. Let's go and see. Okay, uh, no, this is definitely not the place. The, um, Oh god, I'm losing the... Oh, look at my sparkling wine. This kiosk isn't the right one. So, well, thank you very much. Obrigada. 
Oh yes, yeah, sorry. And on the clothes, um, I can't shop till the very, because I'm traveling up north to see some friends and then coming back again by train, I can't take extra baggage. Um, and the suitcase was pretty full anyway. I don't know why, I've hardly got any outfits. Um, so I'm not going to shop till the last day. So you probably won't see the clothes haul till the following week, but I'll share what I can. Okay. On one of the oldest trams in Lisbon. This is number 28 and we're going all over and I'll take you with me. Look at the tram. You have to be up bright and early. Okay, so not every day on holiday is a wonderful one. Bit of a bad day today. Rushed through breakfast to get on an early tram. The famous number 28 that was on. Oh, sorry, I'm out of focus. Because uh, I'm trying to make those people out of focus. Um, anyway, yes, really unhelpful woman driving it. Said you could get off and get on again at the end. Dropped us. It, the old part was brilliant, but I did most of it yesterday on that um, with that lovely tuk tuk man, um, Joseph. Uh, so I went to the same sort of places and couldn't get back on again without joining a mile long queue. Then my glasses lens, my beautiful vintage glasses lens, one of the lenses fell out. So now I need emergency sunglasses. And then I had to get a taxi. She dropped the tram ends, be warned, does not end somewhere in Alfama, the old district. Get off at the castle, get off at the castle. If you carry on, you just end up in a modern suburb in the middle of nowhere. And the taxi couldn't find the hotel. So I stopped here for a coffee and a croissant to recover. Sorry, I forgot to tell you, this is a very famous cafe. It's quite pricey as well. But this is where the live music is, and it's just started. Day and night, I love it. And it's very, it was very famous for poets and writers and authors to all meet in the old days and be literary friends. So it's a sort of must if you're in the area. And all the good shops are down there anyway. Okay. Hello. Well, I'm back in my third room now, covered in mess at the same hotel. Um, oh, what was that? What the hell? Did you hear that? I hope it's not outside my room. It might be that I managed to flood the bathroom. So, um, you know, when the shower's go all over you, I've got soaking clothes. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog in a minute here because at last I've been able to go shopping um, because this is my last full day in Lisbon. So I thought, right, I can cram it into the case. I know I'm under the allowance. So um, I'll show you what I've got. Dreadful noise. Um, this is my favourite shop, Desiguel. I got this before I went away, simply because it rolls into nothing and goes really well with my Lucy Dodwell jeans. So what do you think? And then before I went away, I discovered this shop, Oishu, Oisho which apparently there is one in the big shopping centre in Shepherd's Bush, Westfields, West, yes, I think it's called Westfields. Um, somebody told me in line, it's the posh 
keep fitty Lululemon type of keep fit gear um, in um, Zara. It's owned by Zara, but it's quite upmarket. I won't show you this yet, but it's the most amazing black just thing, something to wear to yoga. I bought the pants in H&M, so I'll show you the whole outfit when I'm home. Um, it's very, very good quality. I'm gonna have to go and see what that awful noise is about. It's very good quality. It's really soft and everybody was just eulogizing. Right, back in a bit. Oh God, that was scary. I thought it was robbers on the roof. Such a noise, apparently it's men working on air conditioning up there. That's how hot it is, 24 today. Anyway, as I was saying, beautiful quality. If you come across, every tourist I met was going, isn't the quality amazing? Or Shulu. Then I went to the vintage store across the road. It's all pre-loved, it's top brands and others that they're selling. Look how fat I've got. It's been like Christmas. I will show you these all styled up, but that actually looks amazing on. That would be my birthday dress with big um, biker boots, gorgeous sleeves, and it's Gani, Gani. So um, 90 euros. So that's really good value because they're a really expensive brand. This, I mean, you should really see them styled up, but this with darker jeans, it looks nothing off. It looks amazing on. This was 50 euros. I mean, everything is not cheap, cheap, but certainly reasonable. This looks awful off, but looked amazing on. If I've got time, there's another vintage shop I might get to tomorrow morning. But um, I think I'm running out of room. But look, actually I might put this on for you because I might wear this out tonight. Sorry, I've got the windows open because I was worried about that noise. Um, yeah, this is a bit smocky. It looked a bit, you know, pioneer-ish. But I think this is a gorgeous top. It's actually very thin. Um, but it's just such a great shape, isn't it? So like that. I hope you can see all right. I can see in the mirror. Yeah, no, it doesn't go with these jeans either. No, it does not go with these jeans. Um, but with the right clothes, it looks lovely like that. All right, I tend them in the middle of all that waffling. I had it on back to front. It's because I can't see it so dark. Right, I'm by the window now. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. I hope you like my little haul. So I'm going to say goodbye. If I do buy any more tomorrow, I'll put it on next week. Um, I am looking forward to going home. So all good, and I've had the most brilliant time. Oh, I was going to do top tips for you. Right, top tips, this hotel's amazing. Make sure you're on the third floor. They're fabulous rooms. I love being out in the attic. And I've got two balconies here, overlooking the rooftops. And it's a brilliant area, Barrio Alto. So the girl who recommended this, um, Thank you, thank you, thank you. And the, the vintage store across the road. So the most expensive I got was $99 and the cheapest was like, sorry, 99 euros. And the cheapest was about 45 euros. It's a very upmarket vintage, um, pre-loved, but very good. Um, what are the top tips? Don't bother with the tuk-tuk tours unless you get a really, really good guide. They're really expensive. They're like, and I've checked with other tourists, they're, they're upwards of 120 quid and that's only for an hour or two. Um, so I'd think twice if you're watching your money, although if you get a good guide, they are superb and they can nip in and out. The tram was a complete waste of time, as you saw. Um, didn't really go anywhere. The tuk-tuk guy hadn't taken me before. 
um, but of course it's much cheaper, but because they're digging up the roads, because they're putting new um, transport and water, they're having a lot of trouble with floods like everywhere in the world. So there's a lot of construction going on and that's affected those amazing tram routes. So I wouldn't bother. I mean, you just queue for hours. There's a picture of them queuing earlier today. Unbelievable. Um, I would go on the boat trip and now that I've done it, I would definitely get off at Beleng. You can get off at Beleng. It's a lovely river trip if the weather's right. And you see the great big cross that's like the Brazil cross of Jesus. And you just see so many things. It's a lovely way to travel. And Beleng, you can get off and then come back many hours later. So if I can, well, I will come back here again. I would definitely do that because there's a lot happening at Beleng, including the best pastel de natos in Lisbon. Although I think they're just fabulous across there. And I think that's about it for my top tips. It's cheap. Uber is a song. Even taxis are cheap. I mean, it's all very reasonable. Um, fresh fish is reasonable. It depends which restaurant you go to. Um, coffee's one euro. A glass of wine this big is... Um, Oh my God, I think I paid two euros in one place for sparkling wine. It was far more expensive um, out of town, and Faro was. And um, ask the hotel, wherever you stay, they will always recommend good restaurants. Sorry, my hair's dirty. And um, I thoroughly recommend the, um, the custard creams, as I call them and the coffee and the fish the fresh fish oh my god it's amazing there's a tapas bar nearby for fish of course it's monday so i can't do that um don't eat fish on a monday and um oh, they're just places all over the town i mean if you need to know specific places that i haven't listed below always look under comments because i put a lot of answers there um, but if there's anything you particularly want to know, just DM me and I will be delighted to help. I love it here. I can't wait to come back. I love all the music everywhere, the shops, the food. Um, I, I put on as much weight as you do over Christmas or the alcohol. They give you free um, bread and cheese and wine and olives at three o'clock, this hotel. I mean, no wonder. Uh, uh, uh. Um, yum, yum. anyway thank you for watching i do hope you enjoyed it or i know you probably will have done let me know if you've been to lisbon and um thank you for supporting me thank you for the thumbs up thank you for the comments lots of comments please and um our followers are going up and up and up so please pass me on i know we're all begging at the moment but it's just so gratifying to see our little tribe growing okay lots of love see you next week god knows what with oh dressing up all the purchases <laughs>